and me that only just wanted to make a small video and now I made uh, already 4 gigabytes um, it does seems like it actually has stopped uploading so I guess the other three videos is actually uh, is actually um, uh, finished um, I can just check my channel if those three videos or maybe they're actually being processed but it seems actually number three and two seems to at least uh, have come up but it has it has, you know, instead of actually uploading the first video first and then the second and the third, it did it the wrong way. So now number three is the first uploaded, number two is the second uploaded, and then the first will be the last uploaded. Um, yeah, that doesn't really work out pretty good. Um, you know, and I started, it should have started with the one I started uploading first. But apparently, you know, YouTube apparently not that clever, you know. That's the thing with technology. Don't let it help you, you know, make it worse, you know, make it so you need to do all these things yourself instead of just... Uh... Anyway, I got the second Passover with Daki Ya up as well. That was from my Passover, so that's like six hours of my Passover. By the way, we are, should also be closing to the, uh, the Festival of Weeks. Um, but... I've lost count on that, and I, that's actually very bad. But I should actually, uh, I should actually have have counted in regards of where we are, uh, and I pretty much have lost count. Now we are closing to, you know, I guess sometimes it's easier to actually count the Sabbaths and all that. And you know, it is a command that we count to fifty. Instead, I guess like counting to Christ Mass, which is the pagan holiday. We just count to fifty, which is one of God's holy days, uh, not Satan's holy days. You know, um, or man-made laws, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so we have Passover. So uh, first fruit here. Uh, so eight, fifteen, twenty-two. And uh, uh, well, I need to do some some you know I'm I'm you know it's hard to you know yeah, and I'm I'm not that good at numbers so it would actually just be easier for me to uh, I'm not sure we had another I think we had two calendars so it should be getting close to fifty days and then you need to make a bread or something like that and. Uh, you know, I don't have everything uh, far from everything uh, fixed and all that. You, need, you know, studying the Torah and all that and getting, that's, that's, that's yeah, yeah. And getting on the right track. Anyway, we have Yeshua as our savior. So, uh-oh, we're running space on low. Oh, that's bad. Anyway, I could delete, do you see, yeah. Uh, that's, that's the thing with the space. I really still have problems with space. Let's see. Um... The question is, which one can I actually delete? Uh, let's see here. Uh, tin, I should be able to delete this one. And this one, it seems it actually has uploaded it. Um, it seems it also has uploaded the first, but um, delete. But I, I, I don't take, I, I'm not going to take my chances on that. But the third the, the, the third and the second video is up so that should be good it's around an, nearly an hour each of them and the first one should also be uploaded at least it's you you can see up in the right corner that it's like zero in regards of upload um, it seems like the it seems like the what is, what is it called um, the live thing is working again it seems um, so that's nice. I'm not sure why it didn't work yesterday. Um, uh oh.
Uh, wait, wait, wait. I think, I think it actually, uh, I thought it was actually, but it still seems to record. It wanted to close the program down. I guess it, you know, it has some problems there. Um, I think we got it, you see, uh, okay, so this, yep. So we got the two, two things deleted, so there should be some space again on the mobile. Um, you know, I, I, f I filled it up, you know, sadly with uh, a lot of things. Um, I have a lot of, you know, videos as well and all that. And I guess, you know, some of the videos is just like, you know, I should just upload them and just delete them, you know, to get some more space. Of course, it, you know, I, I, there's always a chance that would, you know, everything that I upload to YouTube can be lost like, like this. Um, so that's, you know, that's, that's just how it is. Anyway, uh, let's get back to, uh, um, but I guess, I sh you know, if I want to make more constructive videos, or some, some of them, I guess, have some good information, uh, but, you know, but mostly I just talk, you know, talk, 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 just show different things on the fly and all that, uh, but I should make some more concentrated uh, uh, things, um, you know, uh, I don't think people are that much interesting in just listening to me on, on the live thing here. Um, you know, just on the fly. So, I, and I, you know, it would be, but of course you get an idea what I, if you have any problems, I should have actually make a video what I believe and put it on the, on the front page of YouTube. Again, I don't know much about YouTube and all that and I have, you know, it's just I haven't really worked with it and you know things tend to change when you and then you need to follow along with that and you know it's just um, uh, I see here no where was it inbox library huh. oh it actually says it's Processing this video is ready to watch, and it's processing the third one, uh, and it's also processing the f the first one. Okay, so uh, that's nice. But of course, now of course I can check if you know I'm going to 4G, and then I try to upload again and see that if it actually goes down again in the upload, because a whole day to upload you know three videos is just I know it was like. Well, nearly 12 gigabytes, but still, you know. Let's see here, that's two weeks ago. No, that's not. We wanted to. Where was it in regards of. Uh, no. Uh, subscriptions. Hmm. Um. What is subscriptions? Is that like. Oh, yeah, that's probably those that I subscribe to. Christy Misty, uh, didn't she get actually her channel? But he just just come with a new new one. Uh, but he she made a good video in regards against uh, feminism and all of that, and she was very unpopular in regards to that in the beginning and became somewhat famous on the internet by some. Uh, well, that's some of the things I think are closed. I should probably go through uh, through my channels at some point and uh, see if there's some that I can actually just discount. Um, has a lot of them that I just don't know. Uh, um, oh yeah, Nina follows Christ. She was the one that was. She was a a woman Mohammedan. And she she got her you know she had a lot of information that she got out and she closed down her oh sorry they closed down her channel and they closed down the other channel that was was on chatting with people oh I got a new message um, but I should probably look into uh, some of these John McKay I haven't really looked into maybe it's because he he hasn't made his material free that I haven't watched that much of it but he's also one of the guys that in regards of um, uh, creation and all that maybe I should actually um, maybe I should uh, write this magazine about you know maybe they could do uh, like a you know, 
on on these big on these guys standing for uh, I don't know. So we have a continuing Church of God. They have to. They don't believe in the Trinity. I think they have some problem on that. But overall, they have a lot of good information, and they they do believe that Jesus is God, if I remember correctly. Um, Brian Dellinger, I do wonder, you know, he actually had some good things in regards to the Trinity. I just actually saw one of his videos in regards to 1 John 5, 7. And then if you look on his website, website he's just got gone 180 degrees on it. And I was inside and uh, writing to one of his, his videos and re he replied and I replied back. And I don't think he actually ever replied to that. I'm not sure if it's, I don't know if it's still there. Again, you know, they, you know, when you write on a, on a channel, they can just, you know, delete the things. Jesse Morel, you know, he was like a Christian speaker. And, I, you know, it's really nice to see uh, people actually going out. And even if they have some issues in regards to the doctrine of hell and all that. And we have some health stuff as well in regards to Sean Baker. That's in regards of only eating meat. I've tried that as well. Um... Dr. Brown is a Jewish Christian, uh, so and we have, yeah, so different things. Uh, well, uh, you know, yeah, I don't know in regards of if I should. Um, ah, it's a little sad in regards of CA answers or whatever. Um, I had one of them on my Facebook, but he discounted me. You know, I told him in regards of Paul, <laughs> and... Uh, Ended up being, being uh, yeah, so. Ken Johnson also didn't want to be a friend of mine on Facebook. He has some good stuff as well, but has some issues as well, um, I think. So, but again, you know, you eat the bone, spit out the meat. You know, sometimes they, Hoshana Rapa, he was one of the beginning when I did research on the Nazarenes. He had like a, like a lecture on that um a very good lecture on that uh like an hour or something i think i actually i still have it on the, on my mobile because i have different lectures of of the nazareans and their research on the nazareans so you take your own research and you try to get all things together and try to piece up the puzzle piece um alan lamont made a uh, i remember seeing a great video in regards of the uh roman catholics and it's not the jews and all that um david paulson made i think it was like a video in regards of the book of revelation or, or where he takes around in regards of uh asia minor in regards of nowadays turkey then we have bible works videos that is in regards to one of the three big uh, bible works programs uh, sadly it stopped, uh, they stopped, uh, I'm still not sure what they're going to do. It seems like they might have some plans in regards to the future. Uh, and it was the tool that I was looking to in regards of buying, if I needed to buy any tool, uh, because it's it was focused on the biblical text and not all these other two, the two other pro big programs. Um, I actually have, oh yeah, the one of them was actually just there. Accordance. Is, is the other, but that's too Mac for me, you know. But I actually have bought it in a small version. And in regards of, I have accordance here as well in regards to the Aramaic. But I thought the Aramaic would be in Hebrew, so I was pretty much... Hopefully they will make, make this edition, but, you know, probably going to cost money again. And the module itself is still expensive. Uh, it's, it's too expensive. But at least now I have the possibility of looking into the Aramaic if I if I need to look into that. Uh, but it's very slow. Uh, they have updated the program and they are working on the program. So, you know, uh, hopefully uh, it will only become better. And the mobile gets really hot when it's actually recording and all that. And that's why it's a good thing to have a big battery because the battery itself uh, makes it so it it actually makes it less hot so that's one more positive thing with having a bigger battery is it gets less hot and of course you can use it longer don't need to change battery or anything like that of course most mo mobiles you can't really change batteries so but I do have 
changeable battery. This is the standard battery. And you're gonna get some that are three times as big as this, pretty much. Where you have three times as much power. And it does keep the it does keep the um, it does keep the the mobile less hot. It acts as a you know a f a cooler as some uh, what is it called like on a CPU and all that. Um, Trey Smith made some video, yeah, and there's some bushcraft. Robert Jones he made something in regards to Andreas Bodenstein von Karlstadt. That's very nice. Not sure what Nikus is. post apolic Church. He made some great things in regards to the Greek, showing the differences in the Greek uh, compared to the Masoretic text, I think it was. I'm not sure. The other side of darkness might have been a form of witch. I'm not sure. Um, and Kent Hoven, of course. Ken Hoven is a great defender of the truth in regards to creation. Now he might have some other issues and all that, but again, as he himself say, uh, eat the meat and spit out the bones, and that's exactly what you do. And in regards of creationism, he pretty much is the guy, I think, one of the biggest defenders and most annoying people for the, uh, for the evolutionist. And you know, he's just a wonderful. I, I really, and he was uh, the the first guy, you know, I still remember it. I probably would have hit into this thing at some point, but, you know, uh, turning around and all that. But the first thing I saw, in re I, uh, the first thing I saw in regards of creation was Kent Hovind's 100 reasons why evolution is stupid. And I thought, that's just stupid, you know, and I saw it. And I clicked it and I saw it through and it did make some questions for sure. <laughs> so anyway, so I saw it again. I think I saw it. You know, I've seen so much from him. You know, uh, he has like there was weeks of weeks of weeks. Of, I downloaded this whole package because all his stuff was uh, not copyrighted. So I just download all this stuff, which which was in a package from a torrent uh, file and uh, saw all, you know, well, not all, but a huge amount of the material, you know, I used a huge amount of time on it. Uh, also the de debates, I think that I did, I don't think I got all through all the debates, but there was a lot of the debates. The thing is the debates was, you know, it's as much of the same, but I saw a lot of them and I was really good. It was just crushing these people, you know, uh, these, you know, these, these so-called clever guys and all that and uh, he's just he's just pretty much um yeah uh alan Horvath, uh, as in regards of some of the hebrew pictographic um i still but he's also a promoter of the name yahua which i also was but i think it's wrong and now the 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 the, the evidence just points to yehovah um so that's you know the the evidence is very weight as a fill, you know. So I, I, I'm going with Jehovah. Uh, First Amendment radio. Mm, I just hate the commercials. That's the thing. But the guy is what he's called. Oh, I can't remember. But mm, some of the stuff that comes out of this guy. Mm, just love. That's uh, Tom. Tom something. Tom friends. Tom something. But uh, I just hate the commercials. The commercial just destroys it for me. I hate commercials. I had I hate advertising. I I do understand that you know uh, that they need to to have these ads apparently to to fix the. But I'm like Christians are giving so much money to different things and all that. That's the thing you know. We have a state church in Denmark, a Lutheran state church, which have a lot of issues. But, but anyway, uh, and and then we have a Bible translation, and it's copyrighted, and. Uh, you know, it, it, it you know the the the, the digital the, the, don't 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 we give you know don't they get any money from the people paying to the to the state churches you know and of course laying down with the state is never a good idea as we it seems more and more obvious to me that being in bed with the state is you know being in bed with the world in some sense doesn't seem to be a good thing you know. Um, 
Um, now the you know the state can then push uh, push the churches to do some things that are unbiblical, like marrying same sex. Uh, final call. I'm not sure what that is. Nina follows Christ fan channel. Oh, that's a fan channel. Maybe they actually have because I had I had her you know her closed channel still on. Maybe they don't take that with uh, uh, on it. Daniel Hotsclaw, I think he's pretty much was uh, uh, sentenced wrongly. Uh, he's a police officer. Usually, I don't in regards to police, but anyway, he does. You know, looking at how he was, uh, yeah, it's just so sad. Uh, I think he was falsely, uh, you know, that was, I think, in regards to false witnesses. Um, yeah, so he's in jail at the moment, very sad. Uh, plain truth, not sure. Run to Christ, not sure about that. Radical Reformation, that is in regards to the Anabaptist. I saw he had a whole lecture, a whole lecture, like a huge amount of material, like, where they had cl classes and they he was speaking on different kinds of Anabaptism and all that. I'm sure it still must be, I'm not sure if it's on the Radical Reformation uh, channel, but I just, mwah, you know, and I love the Hutterites, you know, mwah, mwah, mwah. I love those, you know. Um, the stories from these, you know, and I have some more uh, from him and all that. There's actually two, there's another guy that has also, I think he's an Anabaptist himself as well, where he goes back to the first Christians and had made videos on that. I see, I actually have it on, uh, that's wonderful as well. Um, let's see if we can find it. Um, where he goes into how the, you know, he's, he's looked into, um, um, of course, again, not everything that one agrees with and also forward, but there's always be something, I think, uh, that, you know, and it doesn't mean there isn't any good truth in it and things, you know, let's see here, where is it? Um, is it in Videota? Did I put all the things in that? Oh, yeah. So what did the early Christians believe? And I think he has some good stuff. Now, he, he, he doesn't really, you know, he's trying to harmonize Paul with James, it seems. Uh, now, of course, I just think Paul is a false apostle, but uh, that's me, you know, it's not a popular view, but of course, you know, that's just how it is. Um, but I can't run away from what I do believe, you know. You know, what I see is, you know, I, I would be lying if I was, yeah, I think he's, um, you know, and, and, and so, but a lot of people get offended and you, you know, they will draw away from you and whatever. I guess it's because they follow the command of Paul, which says, you know, you should, you know, um, so whatever. Um, so he has different videos. There's, uh, there's some good, good, good things as well in it. And I think he's an Anabaptist as well himself. Um, so that's wonderful. Um, Chris White, I think, had, you know, he had some good things in regards of having been in the, I think he was, has, had been in the occult. But I think he fell uh, in some, somewhat in the trap of Paul. Uh, it seems like relaxing, you know, finding Jesus and then we just relax. That's not the way to do it. Um, so, but, but he has some good information on some things as well. Um, but just be aware that, uh, you know, be careful of Paul, you know, be careful of Paul. Just because Paul is in the New Testament, it's not said that he was sent by, you know, or maybe he was sent as a test to see if it would actually, you know, uh, we have another run to Christ, creation moments, Genesis, Apologetics, uh, Gregory Miller. I'm not sure what Gregory Miller is, but anyway, most of it is, I guess, is Christian stuff. Did I, I should also have in regards of Torah, to Torah thing, should have been there as well. Uh, the third program, by the way, in regards of big Bible programs is Logos. But just because you have an expensive Bible program doesn't mean much, you know, because a lot of these priests and you know, and all that have these big uh, Bible programs and all that, and they will, you know. Uh, oh, oh, that was more up here. Okay. 
Uh, who was Chris? Yeah, town center is in regards to food from the 18th century. That was have Sagara power. But since it seems like he's a little, you know, he's, sometimes he goes uh, in, uh, yeah, anyway, it doesn't matter. But you, you can find any, you, you can find problems. You can find problems with me. You're gonna probably find a lot of things that you don't like about me and all that. So, uh, okay, I'll have issues. That yeah, in regards of uh, Stram Kurs. That is in regards to, uh, of some political thing. I'm not so sure about that, but it is interesting to see how the Mohammedans actually react um, to, you know, to a book, you know. Um, so, Candida Crusher, and of course I, I've, I've written on one of these Danish Mohammedan pages as well and got censored. There's a video on that as well in the past, uh, but that's in Danish, I think. Patrick Baptist, I can't even remember what that is. Bible flock box, Anabaptist stories. Oh yeah, we like the Anabaptist. Um, know the cause is in regards of um, is in in regards of of uh, fungus and sickness in general. I guess that he thinks it's in regards of fungus. We have Al Ghazal in regards of Jews for Yeshua. I talked to him. He had some interesting stuff in regards to what Jew says that yeah, Jesus is saying that he's God, but they don't believe that. But um, Karl Kohlhaas, he made this wonderful music. Jörg also made. I uh, still he had some, you know, doctrinal issues. Uh, I, again, I think it's because of Paul. But anyway, uh, he has some good stuff for sure. He's reading some of the. Uh, books ex explaining a lot of things in regards of history and all that um, but I think he I'm not sure if he still have problems in regards to the Father Son and the Holy Spirit but you know that's the thing when you listen to people you get the idea what they believe and so forward um, restored COG uh, and that's Tom Fresh, the, the other guy, Tom Fresh, uh, also doing the same thing. Uh, but Jerks is free without commercials. There are some in regards of Tom Fresh that also is without commercials. Very nice. Um, but he has like a, you know, he has a big, uh, that's, that's a lot of, you know, things. But it's, you know, it's free. It's free. So I shouldn't complain. But yeah, I just hate, hate ads. You're listening to this and then there's like ads coming in. Sarah Dragon is making Christian music. She, two, two of her numbers are really good. Um, oh, here we have Nina Follow Christ. I think that might be the channel that uh, that was closed down by the Mohammedans. Uh, you know, where they make, uh, what is it called? Jihad thing, whatever. Um, what is it called? D digital Jihad or Internet Jihad. Um, we have more, one more from Jock Law. He has different uh, pages. The CA Answers TV has huge amount of information, but I think they get some things wrong. Um, again, because of Paul and because people just, you know, if Paul is in the New Testament, he must be, you know, okay, well, apparently. Um, never realizing that that an enemy would come and sow the bad seeds. And we are warned about wolf in sheep clothing. So even if they talk like lambs and look like lambs, it's not to say that they are lambs. Oh, Irid music, that's Hebrew. Uh, anyway, um, doesn't really. But they, they, that's on YouTube, of course. Um, What was in regards of, let's see here, nice comments. Huh. <laughs> uh, uh, it's interesting, right? Gosh, perhaps I should be a sweet and loving Christian like you are. You sound so Christ-like, so humble, so meek. Uh, yeah, I should reply and say, yeah, maybe you should tell some truth, you know. And um, when you look at Yeshua, he wasn't always a sweet guy, you know. He told it as it was, and it offended people, and they killed him because of it, you know. I actually they killed him because of blasphemy, but they didn't like what he was speaking, you know, because he was speaking the truth. 
And as soon as the Roman Catholic get the chance again, they will show their teeth. Oh, was it in regards? Uh, there's a new message here on. Uh, maybe it's maybe any. That's the thing, you know. They make it harder than you know, this. Uh, no, apparently it hasn't updated for. Uh, but I got on the computer. I got a message here. Uh, from Paolo Dilak replied, Anas Eriksson, are you a Protestant, sir? I don't really like to be called sir, but, you know, I guess people do that. You know, um, as I understand it, we are not, you know. But, anyway, two seconds. <coughs> maybe a little more than two seconds, but it's an expression, right? So, um, maybe it should just be five seconds. <laughs> uh, well, uh, so, uh, she, she first asked me, Sir, I think it's a woman anyway. So, are you a Lutheran Protestant? No, no, no let's see. So, uh, first she asked, Sir, are you a born again Baptist? I'm not sure why she just can't use my name, you know. My name is on, on uh, my full name is on YouTube. I don't use any fake name. My full name is on YouTube. Would it be very hard to say, Anas, are you a born again Baptist? You know, instead of calling me sir, I, I just don't really, you know, it just seems so, you know, oh, you know, titles, you know, blah. It's like uh, the Romanist, right? The great titles of his so called holiness, right? Ooh. And this and that and all that. I don't know. So. Anyway, and maybe I, maybe I should be more sweet. I just you know, there's so many, there's so much bullshit in this world. There's so many lies and deception. Someone has to 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 just let's just tell the truth, right? Anyway, so she says uh, again, sir. Yeah, it's just actually she starts out with you know Anna Erickson to me in regards of, and then sir, are you a Lutheran Protestant? So, if you do it because churches in the Middle East are old and ancient, we will erase the origin of Christianity. And one day in a Muslim-Christian debate, a Muslim will ask the Christian debater, where is your ancient holy church? The Christian will look down to ground with a sad face and reply, I don't know because we burned them. <laughs> I'm like, oh, give me a break. Oh, you just need to burn the idols. That was the, I wrote that, right? Uh, yeah, I said I said to her because she was like, "Sir, Christians in the mid now." Actually, I had a question in regards of idols and all that. I just want more information. If I can extract more information, I will do it. You know, not deceptive. I'll ask questions, and hopefully they will. You know, you know, someone will answer back. And uh, so she said. Uh, sir, Christians in the Middle East have statues and pictures, Coptic, Orthodox, and Catholic. So what do I write back? I say, thanks. Uh, and I said, they should make a good, fi good fire outside that church building and burn them all. So I'm not sure. I'm just saying that they should burn the idols and images, not the church buildings. But... I think we could make the church buildings more humble, you know, just uh, like the first century, you know, the synagogue where you have no images or anything like that. You have the Bible at the center and you have people being able to sit around and listen to the Bible. Yeah. Don't, uh, and then not all, you know, don't, not know any, not anything of these idols and images and all that. I, that's, that's my kind of a church, you know, that's a meeting building, you know, a synagogue, whatever you want to call it, a meeting house. I think a synagogue means a meeting house. It's where you meet on the Sabbath to what? To listen to the word of God. We like that. You have to remember they didn't have mobiles in the past. They didn't have this and that and all that. And it took time to make a scroll and all that. It could, you know, I heard something like that. If you make a whole, was it like the Torah or was it the whole Bible? It's like a whole year or something. I think it was the Torah. I'm not entirely sure. It was a huge amount of work to make, you know, to make it, you know. 
Not like today where we just have our own Bibles. Each household have a Bible, but now we don't want to read it. We don't even need to go down to a meeting house anymore. And yet it's too hard for us to just take it out from the shelf, you know. Yeah, just, you know, we have, we are, what is it called? We are so luxurious. Uh, we have so many luxuries and we have forgotten God. So she says, so are you a Lutheran Protestant? I think the Lutherans, sadly, because of Luther and all that, I sadly think they still had issues with idols and all that. And uh, I think we see that also in some of the Lutheran churches. They still have issues with the cookie cheese. They still have issues with Sunday. We can pretty much thank Luther for all this. Uh, Andreas Karlstadt was much more radical, if you read him and look into him. But of course, he was persecuted and all that uh, and spewed out, I guess. Um, um, it seems thanks to Luther and all that and you know Luther apparently hated him even in his, his last years and you know reading what Luther writes is just so sad oh and how he this you know the snake oil when Luther comes back and how he snake oils him through this you know um, so anyway uh, so Andreas Karlstadt wrote against you know against idols as well um, so anyway, so she says, so are you a Lutheran Protestant? So if we do it because churches in Middle East are old and ancient, we will erase the origin of Christianity. And one day in the Muslim, in a Muslim Christian debate, a Muslim, that's a Mohammedan, of course, will ask the Christian debater, where is your ancient holy church? The Christian will look down to the ground with a sad face and reply, I don't know, because we burned them. And I, uh, I never said we should burn the churches. I said we should burn the idols. Every single idol in the church. Hew it down, out on the fire, you know. So she asked, are you a Protestant, sir? <laughs> Again, uh, uh, anyway, let's, let's write to her here. Um, say, uh, I, never, I never said to burn the church buildings. Just, just the filthy idols, images, icons, and cookies. Yeah, oh, and crucifix. We, uh, let's have crucifixes as well. Filthy isos, cru, crucifixes, just let, let, you know, so they know what we're talking about, right? Images, icons, and cookies. I think we got it all. Uh, just, just, yep, there we go. But of course, you know, um, you know, it would be nice to actually, you know, instead of having these flabbergasting church buildings, it would be nice just to have some humble buildings, like in the, oh, you know, in the, in regards of, you know, oh, it's just wonderful. I just saw these, you know, this one in Nazareth. There's a the the Jesus town, whatever in Nazareth. And if you ever go to Nazareth, that's one of the places to go at. Uh, to to get a look and you can eat there as well to so get some first century food and all that um, but you can get the trip without food and with food and so forth I actually just took the trip and later on got back and got some food as well uh, but that seems a little different and all that anyway uh, just to try it out but uh, um, any case uh, that's a synagogue and first century synagogue it's very nice. It's just just my up my alley. So you know, no, no, no images or anything like that. Very one. But there are you know other synagogues around the country in Israel, which has a lot of you know paganism. It seems in regards of these uh, stuff. Thing. Yeah, I have pictures of it. It's easier, of course, just to go through the pictures and then remember the things because, you know, my memory is not that. Uh, it's, 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 you know, you have to tend to sometimes forget and it becomes more and more shadowy or whatever. So she asked a Protestant, so I'll say, what shall we say? Well, it uh, depends, I guess. It depends on how you look at it. Let's see here. Uh, well, if you mean by Protestant protesting uh, okay let's maybe you should have protesting the Antichrist and man of the number 666 and rebelling I guess we could see rebelling yeah rebellion you got to a rebellion rebelling uh, it seems like a rebelling is like uh, um, it seems like a bad word, rebelling. 
Uh, but let's see here. Um, see if we can find a good word. Um, the thing is, people don't, you know, what is a Protestant, right? What is a Protestant? Protestant is some, someone that protests the whole of Revelation and the Antichrist and man of the number 666, which is the office of the papacy. And no one knows, why, why no one talking about this? I have no idea, you know, I'll proclaim it until I die, you know, just, and of course I'm sure the Roman Catholics will say, oh, that can be fixed, you know. <laughs> um, nah, I think rebellion might be a bad word for it. But, um, and the man of the number, the uh, the office of, of the, of the papacy and last misfortune on this earth. Now, of course, we know that the Roman hall, or the hall, the city, will be destroyed at some point. And, I, I, you know, in regards of, you know, Jerusalem, you have Jerusalem, and it's also like, when you read scripture, Jerusalem is, you know, the, 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 the woman and all that, but sometimes it also seems to actually, in regards of the country itself, so... Uh, when the Roman hall is burned and destroyed and all that by the ten kings who give their power to the Antichrist, the beast, which still will continue, you see the woman rides on the beast, but the woman at some point will be destroyed. But the beast continues. And uh, so, uh, the beast is still there. The papacy, the, the, what you say, the office of the papacy is still there whatever they want to call it at that point, or maybe they call it the same thing, but he will continue. The pagan, uh, the pagan heathen king, um, you know, will, will an emperor, the Roman emperor, will continue until Christ returns and destroys him. Anyway, uh, so, so don't, don't get me wrong in regards of, uh, let's just have some chewing gum and see if I can sit the mobile here a little. Um, uh, Seems seems a little hard to actually get it more there now. Uh, let's see, there we go. Uh, it's a little hard when it's charging. Uh, yeah, it would have been nice too if I could set it like in something. Uh, it's a little hard to actually hold it and uh, write at the same time. So, right there we go. Stay there. So, it's, it's going to be very interesting that I'm going to get my chicken feet today. Uh, if, uh oh, if they have come around, um, or maybe I can just do this. Okay, so, well, if you mean by Protestant protesting, the, and they're protesting with big capital letters, the Antichrist and man of the number 666, the office of the papacy and last misfortune on this earth, yes, I'm definitely, I think definitely, how do you say, how do you, how do you actually definitely, definitely, I'm, uh, definitely, let's see if we can spell it. Uh oh. Defend. Definitely. Or definitely. Define. No, no. No, that's not the word. Definitely. Defend. Definitely. Definitely. Defeat it. Def. Defend. Defend. Definitely? Maybe like this? No. Definitive. Meh. Is that. No. I have a problem. I can't write definitely. Definitely. Uh, I see here. I'm. I always have to have Google that might be able to correct me. But I can't use it when I'm radio recording. Um, let's see here. Definitely a solution. Solution. Maybe let's try that. Oh, it already was trying to fix me, I think. Yeah, definitely. That's nice with Google, like, you know, that's uh, at least that's helping you the user instead of. Okay, I defin, definitely, 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 uh, apparently I, I, 
definitely am a Protestant. Yes. Okay, I think we got it right. Well, if you mean by Protestant, protesting the Antichrist and man of the number 666, the office of the papacy and last misfortune on this earth, yes, I should probably put it in capital letter, letters. Yes, I'm definitely, I'm, uh oh, I'm definitely a Protestant. Maybe I should, yes, I'm definitely a Protestant. Yes. Let's put it that way. Yeah, okay, let's just, just fix it that like that. That looks good. That's clear, and it's not. It's clear, and it's honest! That's the way we want to go by it, right? Um, it's not deceptive in any way or anything like that. It's direct and clear, and it's honesty. Um, you know, no deceptive things. Clear and cut out, you know, just... There's no doubt in what I'm saying, right? Well, if you mean by Protestant, protesting the Antichrist and man of the number 666, the office of the papacy and last misfortune on this earth, yes, I'm definitely a Protestant. Absolutely. Now, in regards to the Protestant that uh, persecuted other Protestants, I'm not in for that, you know. I know that Luther made a lot of issues, uh, or, or, you know, and it still had a lot of Roman Catholic leaven. Uh, Swingley did the same thing. Some say also Calvin, but I haven't really looked much in regards of Calvin. But again, you can look into a lot of these, you know, I think... When we look on the morning star of the Reformation in England, what was he called? Oh can't remember his name but you know I have his oh I actually have his uh, I have his uh, Bible on, on on the mobile here and it's just wonderful and I still need to fix this mobile pro program because it still have issues still crashes Whitecliffe Whitecliffe and just Whitecliffe you know some of the places where the King James Version get it wrong and all that Whitecliffe get it wrong get it, get it right sorry and uh, uh, the same thing with the Geneva so where the Geneva and the King James Version sometimes seems to get it wrong as far as I can see Whitecliffe actually gets it wrong so that's very interesting so but anyway so uh, I think he this uh, he must have known a, you know some good stuff but of course he was also called the Morning Star of the Reformation um, so, but of course he doesn't have the name in the, uh, and I, I do wonder if he could, if he actually would have put the name in the, but the thing is he was, he had Latin, he was translated from Latin as I understand it. So he wouldn't actually have the, have access to the, to the, to the, to the Greek. But of course I, I'm, I'm sure there must be some issues with his translation as well. You know, it's just... That's just, you know, you, you need to go back to the Greek, the Hebrew, and the, you know, and you might also be able to use the Latin, but the Latin is from 400 years uh, later on. But, you know, some of the things that the Geneva and the King James, you know, some of the places at least I've seen, it's like, so again, I'm, I'm sure you can find issues with Swingley as well. But in any case, you know, so, uh, but in our days, we have so much, you know, we have the Greek, we have the Aramaic, we have the... You know Hebrew. We have the Hebrew again in regards to Samaritan version as well, and then we have the Latin as well. If you you know in regards to four hundred years afterwards, um, I think we also might have some things that they're trying to hide away from us in regards of the Waldensian Bibles, um, it's because you know the Roman Catholic Church always try to you know make her things and all that. Um, anyway, so. Anyway, I should probably stop now. Again, that's, uh, it's a little hard, you know, uh, you can always find issues with translations, I guess, you know. There's always some, you know, there's always something that you don't seemingly, uh, um, and that's not to say, it's, 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 again, you know, for the, for the, for the standard person, it might be less of an issue, you know, because you just need to know who Jesus Christ is and, and, you know, Many of the translations, when you have a translation, they might actually have, you know, a, you know a, a lot of different ways of saying the exact same thing. So it doesn't really, you know, so it's not really a big problem. You know, just just be aware that there might be some issues here and there with someone, you know, it's just, it's just how it is. And uh, I might, might be a little puristic in, in these things. Um, 
a purist, purist, yeah, something like that. Um, and now that we have the possibility to look into the Hebrew, the Greek, and the Aramaic, and the and the Samaritan, and all that, and have all these sources and other things, targums as well, and you know the Aramaic targums and whatever, we have so many sources that we can retrack, we re, you know check things at, and you know, so uh, that's wonderful. It's wonderful. It's wonderful. Um, but I still have the problem with this program actually breaking. Apparently, it's not seemingly that off. It less, or maybe it's because I haven't used it that much in, in the. Uh, but it still breaks, and I've removed all the Aramaic things from it. So I'm not sure what is going on. Um, uh, so so I, I guess I have to. Um, I guess I have to write them and say, hey, something is wrong, and send them an image of, of the arrows I get. Anyway, I think that's pretty much enough. I guess the person that that right, you know, uh, you know, that's that's the sad thing also with uh, with YouTube is that you don't always get all the image uh, the the messages that people actually write you. You know, if if, if someone has actually wrote written uh, written written something, it's not always they're not you not you're not always get getting the uh getting a hint by it by by youtube i'm not sure if it's because they're overloaded or something like that but sometimes i'm looking back at something and i just see that people have replied to me and i never got the message for it anyway so let's uh, have a good one all of you um i think i'm going to stop now i'm just talking the talk because i like to talk um i guess and uh, anyway i'm thinking in regards to this magazine now i haven't actually but of course, it, it's going to be in Danish, so... But I'm thinking of going down and buying that magazine because, you know, Evolution. Let's see what they believe because they should have the newest updated... Ver you know, I've read about Evolution many other places and all that, and that's fine. And, and all the magazines I have from... You know, they just change it a little here and there, I guess. Um... But, you know, to just show people what they actually believe in. You believe that a fish went on to land and when, you know, when they were, you know, become goats or other animals, they jump back into the sea, right? And became whales and dolphins and what was it more? That was another animal as well. It's like, oh my, oh my, it's just sad. Oh, 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 how can people believe that? I was like, but actually... It seems like that on the front page they talked about four billion years life started, and usually I say three point eight because I think it's actually three point eight that is is is. But I think they 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 say that we only have evidence for life for like three point eight billion years ago, and thereby they then uh, extrapolate. I think is the word that it must be around four billion years. As I'm going to make fun of that article. I am. I, you know, I'm going to just, you know, yeah. I'm going to, yeah. I'm just, I, I, I just, you know, they, they, they deserve it. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just going to make fun of all these lies and deceptions, you know. So I'm thinking I'm going down and buying it and then making fun of it. And uh, I actually had another one that I'm, I did, um, where we was reading this. Danish cartoon and I was making fun of that uh, and and just going on the fly you know from what I you know um, but they were not entirely I think they had some mind you know e they, that was some things that really didn't really and here we have a science magazine so I actually think it's the only science magazine in Dan Denmark and uh, they're promoting evolution uh, I've, I have pr tried to write to them in regard to that uh, um, but I guess if I make a video and then I can send it to them and if they think it's, you know, if they are, they can always sue me or whatever or copyright thing and remove it from YouTube. Well, it could be interesting. Set it up and send it to them and, you know, maybe some of, maybe one of them would awake or something like that. Oh, we have a, we have a message here. Uh, I don't have my glasses on, so it's, and the eyes are just becoming worse and worse as you age, right? Oh, let's see here. Oh, yeah, because, because I said Jesus was not the cookie. <laughs> that's the thing. And that's the thing. You just get, you know, that's the thing. If you can actually drag out, that's the thing. The, 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 the Roman Catholics are just not, 
that good at actually just coming out and saying what they actually believe. So if you can actually come on, come on out of the bush and tell the people what you actually believe, because then other Christians can see what you actually believe, and they might, hmm, that doesn't sound Christian, yeah. Anyway, let's see what he writes. This is R. W. Smith. I'm afraid for your soul. You just blas blasphemed our Lord. Yeah, the cookie Lord. Mm, the cookie Jesus. I just bl blasphemed because I told you that the cookie is not God and Jesus. So I'm blaspheming God. Let's, let's go back to the New Testament. What? I think actually, you know, what did Jesus say? This is my bread, right? And he broke it and gave it to them. Did Jesus ever, ever, ever talk in symbolic language? Huh? Did he ever, ever, ever talk in symbolic language? Hmm? Oh, I think he did, right? And what did he say? Do this in remembrance of me. Yeah, he said, oh yeah, you think that the bread was really his body, soul, sinews, and flesh, and the wine, his blood? Didn't 